sometimes people wonder whether there can be science without a subject-object distinction. I, I, I think my answer would be no, one has to make that distinction, but there's a difference between assuming that that's how the world is, that it's divided into subjects and objects, and doing it, as it were, as something you do and you know that that's just a way of looking at the world, a way of describing the world. The same as in, in, in all of science, we know that our theories are just theories, but there are ever better ways of describing the world and being able to do things with it. So if we, if we truly understood how the subject-object distinction comes about and can disappear again, we would still use it in science, but we'd have a very different attitude towards it.